hey guys, it's Jason, um, here for day one, uh, Luna's here with me, this is my cat, hi Luna, she always knows when I'm stressed, <clears throat> um, not really experiencing a whole lot of physical detoxing symptoms, uh, which I didn't really expect to on just a day, uh, a day's worth of pills. Um, I'm trying to approach this round two a bit differently, um, because I do know what certain triggers of mine are, and I do know that whether it seems selfish to others or not, I have to do what's best for me right now and what's right for me and um, what I kind of know to, to be true is that I've spent a lot of my life um, doing for others, trying to make others happy. Um, trying to lessen other people's stress. Uh, I've spent a lot of time trying to convince people that I'm okay because I don't want them to be stressed or worried or... Um, and that becomes exhausting, and during this, you know, recovery of mine, I really need to recognize that I can't do that. I really need to focus on me, and that it's okay to feel like shit, and I don't have to put on an act, um for my loved ones. I don't have to act like I'm more okay than I am because, you know, that just triggers something in me. It kind of just makes me angry that I find myself so worried about other people's stresses and other people stressing about me that I just feel like I'm acting. Like, when loved ones call me and I've got to put on like a happy tone to my voice or else they're asking me, you know, well, what's wrong? I can, I can tell something's wrong, what's wrong? Like right now everything's wrong, you know, like I'm, I, this recovery shit is hard. Um, and I don't want to put on that act. I just, I need people to understand that it's just tough, uh, and that that's okay. It doesn't mean that I'm crumbling. It doesn't mean that, it, you know, it just means it's tough. Um, and you guys are great. My subscribers are great. All the advice, all the support, uh, you guys understand. Uh, just not everybody gets it the same way. You know, like, when it comes to your personal life, my personal life, um, just everybody's not on the same page, uh, and I can't expect people to, you know, kind of hop on to adjust themselves to where I'm at. I have to focus on me and me alone. <clears throat> so, there's just a lot that I'm approaching differently. Um, I'm going to utilize the tools that, that I've gathered differently. I'm going to stay away from benzos because I don't make great decisions when on benzos. 
I just don't. Uh, I never have. I sensed that that was going to happen as soon as I was pres prescribed these uh, benzos. But I took them anyway, telling myself, like, oh, I'm going to take them as prescribed. You know, I'm going to take them to just help with this emotional withdrawal. Uh, fooling myself, which it was silly of me to even think that, because I've never taken them, like, prescribed, you know. I take them until I'm not anxious anymore. And that takes a lot. <laughs> um, so today, I'm just going to keep busy. I'm actually moving my bedroom downstairs uh, into a downstairs bedroom. This house has several bedrooms. It's too expensive to heat the upstairs in the winter. Plus, something's, like, wrong with the floor up here lately, like the foundation of the house. Something's off. It's a really, really old house. Uh, and I just feel like it's ready to drop. <laughs> this floor is. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. It's almost, like, metaphorical of where I'm at. Peripatetically ready to drop at any minute. Um... But I'm definitely going to fight harder this round two. Um, I'm proud of myself for making it as far as I did. I'm not going to beat myself up too much over over my slip up. Um, because that's not going to do me any good. I just need to keep pushing on. Uh, And I'm also just going to be more gentle with myself and listen to my needs, you know? I'm... If it means being a little selfish, you know, then that's just what... what it means. <clears throat> but I'm going to try to do daily updates. Um, because it really helps. Your guys' support is a lot different than the support that I have in real life, even though, you know, the, the support I have in my real personal life, you know, is good, and my loved ones are, are great, and they're supportive. Um, the support of people who understand and who have been there and who are ahead of me in terms of this recovery, uh, it's just, it's different feels different, it works different. Uh, so thank each and every one of you for following me on this journey, and I plan on making myself proud, my loved ones proud, uh, and all of you guys proud. So, little hiccup, little bump in the road, but we're gonna get there. Uh, until tomorrow, take care, you guys.